Celestial Blessing 3, Jade Soul and the Guardian Crown, guys. Guys, Celestial Blessing is insane, especially Celestial Blessing 3. Super good augment. Absolutely crazy good augment. And I'm thinking about something here. I mean, I have to level... Bah! What should I do? Zeke's. Uh, I guess we throw one round. I'm a little bit triggered because I made this Nasus. If I didn't make this Nasus too, I could have just gone one, st one star Nasus. And I could just, um, you know... I could just have um, 10 gold right now. Because I'm deciding to grief the first round anyway. And he's level 4 with a Guardian Heart, with a Sunfire, so... And with a Guardian Crown even, with a Sunfire. So I could have just had 10 gold now. <laughs> I missed 1 gold. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's okay. But yeah. I'm not sure about these items either. <laughs> That's a lot of non-sussies. That's a lot of sussy boys. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit stun-locked here. I'm not sure what to do. Because the thing is, we have this guy, which is pretty good. I wish I had a monkey. A Wukong would be good. Zeke's. Zeke's. A giant Slayer belt. A giant Slayer belt. I am really not sure what to do, guys. I'll give it a buck fifty. What should we do, guys? What, what do we have here? What kind of opening do we have? So we have Celestial Blessing, which is really good. It's one of the best augments for the Zyra comp. So I'm kind of interested in playing Zyra. And then I just go for a Ginsu's here. And I'm in a good spot, right? And then we go for uh, Pantheon items with these two. But th that means I can't slap any items right now, which is a little bit triggering. Which, with, a, with this strong of a combat augment, you kind of want to win streak early. So that's a little bit triggering. Um, we could also just play Seraphine. Doesn't really need this comp. Uh, this this Celestial Blessing. Zyra is truly a banger here. Seraphine. Maybe we can go uh, Pirate's Greed and Astral, full economy, infinite gold, infinite gold, and then just pivot into Zyra. Because again, Zyra comp with Celestial Blessing 3, it's like a match made in heaven, okay? Because this, this thing will make your Pantheon so unkillable, will make your Zyra brush off any AoE damage that gets thrown her way. And it's just gonna be beautiful. And in a couple of hours, literally in three hours, this is getting nerfed. So I kinda, you know, wanna play this, uh, not, not this augment, Zyra is getting nerfed. So I kinda wanna, you know, have that nice little Viking burial for it and play it one more time and then send it off into the ocean. I don't know why I said it like that. It was a little bit pretentious and a little bit cringe. Bleh, it's okay. Yeah, you know what, man, I'm playing Zyra. I'm playing Zyra, guys. Let's go, man. It's gonna be fun. Go Pirate's Greed. Eh. Pirate's Greed, um, if we do not have... We can still play Pirate's Greed with this. That's a good thing. With these items. Because I can go Giant Slayer and Morello on the dragon. <laughs> so it's not even that bad. Right? So we have some... We have a good assortment of items right now. Pick up this girl. Wonderful. I'm down to just go full econ here with Astral. Sell him, go full econ. Because we can't slap items anyway. Oh yeah. Frick it. I have double economy. <laughs> so it's not bad, guys. Don't worry about it. Items on Nidalee, Rageblade? No, 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 no. You don't get it. 
I literally just said I could go pirate. I sh could still go pirate's greed. If we get a doja, I want to have this option open. And the doja does not want rage blade. She wants Morello and Giant Slayer. So we literally cannot slap these items. We have to be greedy here. This is one of those rare cases where we have to be greedy. Nice. Look, I get infinite econ. This is one of those rare cases where we have to get greedy. Get Idas for full greed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. And then we just send it to level 7. We roll it down and it's GG. Is Mage Nomzi getting nerfed? Absolutely, yeah. Mages are getting nerfed. Ma the Mage trait is getting nerfed by 5%. And um, I think something else is getting nerfed. What else is getting nerfed? Ah, I don't remember. Clueless. I'll look at it again before the patch comes. I think it's Nomzi getting nerfed a little bit. Ah, maybe not. Maybe not even. I think it's just mages getting nerfed. I think it's just mages. Okay, so five lost streak, guys. Infinite gold. <laughs> it's a little bit silly. For sure. Mage Nomzi. Do you think I die here, man? Holy. I'm telling you, I might die. Nah, I'll keep it a buck fifty, I'm dead. Guys, we are dead. Oh my god, we're dead. <laughs> Are we okay? Can you stop splitting focus, you idiots? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, guys. Shimmer scale. Nice. Get some lagoon, get some shimmer scale. Get a little bit of everything. This is really bad. This item is really bad to get there. Holy, that's bad. Alright, so basically, we just chill. <laughs> Bro, what is this team, man? It's so bad. Are you interested in Riot's MMO that they are making? And if yes, will you consider playing it once it's released? Yeah, yeah, I will play it for sure. I'm super interested in that. But you have to keep in mind, it's gonna be released at the very earliest in six years. <laughs> six years, my guy. Now, I appreciate that you are thinking that you would still watch me in six years. But six years, man. You know what I mean? Looks like a cybernetic team. Yeah, we'll probably get cybernetic implants here. Which is actually really bad. Uplink is bad too. Shell is okay. We'll probably get a cybernetic. We'll almost 100% get a cybernetic augment recommended. Oh, we don't. Oh, but these are so bad. Oh, but these are so bad. I have to reroll this. Rich Kid Richard is bad. Because we're, we're gonna roll soon. Knife's Edge is super bad. Shell is... I mean, I guess we just go jeweled. Ah, these are so bad, though. Holy... Alright, so I, I, I'm pretty sure I have to level here and just roll down. Okay, big. Alright, we still have two Mirage, four Whispers. Alright, let's go. Um, basically, what we're looking for now is Pantheon and Sy Silas. Pantheon, Silas. And what is our other thing that we put? This is not bad. Jewel Lotus is not bad at all. Jewel Lotus, basically. We could go Infinity Edge Pantheon. Because we have Celestial Blessing. 
Infinity Edge Hodge, what do you think about that instead of BT? BT is really must have though. Nah, I probably just go Hodge BT still. It's so good. What can we do with the rod? The rod is so bad. The harvest is upon us. I mean, if you get a Yasuo, you've got to play it, right? Wait, maybe I can go four Pirates Greed. Um, Infinity Edge. Let's see how strong the enemy is first. Let's see how strong the enemy is. <laughs> he crit. It was because of that crit, surely. Uh, that enemy is really strong. Infinity Edge would have made the difference, for sure. Yeah, uh, Infinity Edge would have made the difference. But I, I really can't. Because I can get BT here. Uh, we don't have to play Zyrom, since we got the Ayasu early. That's really insane. Oh... Never mind. We get a tier... Like, we have a Hodge already now. Nah, it's too good. We have to play the Pantheon now. It's too good, man. Alright, we need to get... We need to get... Silos now. Silos 2 and we're good. Silas 2 and we're good. Just kick her. Oh, okay, now, now I have to keep rolling. Because I'm so close. I'm so close to major upgrades. That was the dragon. Ah, oh, I should have... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think this is fine. We need Silas. We need a Zyra 2 and the Silas. Not sure where they are. Especially the Silas, man. That's really unlucky so far that we didn't find. But I have found two Pantheons, so I'm fine. And a two star si Siphon. Siphon is getting a buff, by the way. <sighs> okay. I think we're fine. Oh, big. Oh, and now we're fine for sure. Now we're super fine. Now we can Econ back up a little bit. We just keep playing him because he's strong right now. We Econ back up a little bit. I need to sh need to scout if somebody is playing a Zyra comp. A Loki he is. Nah, he's going for Zaya. He's going for Zaya. He's going for Zaya. For sure. He's going for Zaya. This guy's just playing mage. He might play one Zyra. Uh, this guy is not going for the Zyra. Oh, he might be going. Nah, he's going Lagoon. Okay, I think we're fine. This guy's going for Zyra, uh, Zaya as well. Okay, lots of Zayas. Swift shot Zippy, that is so, so <laughs> funny, but not that good. <laughs> funny, but not good. But it's a two star, so I don't think it matters. No, it does matter. He's still gonna get splat. Alright, not bad. Alright, we need we need a uh, Zyra really badly, guys. Come on, baby. So yeah, basically we were going for the Zyra comp, right? The Whispers, you give the Zyra a bunch of attack speed, which stacks up her Whispers bonus. We, she stacks up attack damage and AP, and then she just goes for a big ult with the Jeweled Gauntlet, uh, Jeweled Lotus. So it is very nice. But we are missing some things, man. We are missing some key items, and we're missing the Zyra too, and Silas too. And then we will just level up... Pantheon 2 is gonna happen soon as well. I think we have to keep rolling at 7 until we hit Pantheon 2 though. But for now I just have to collect some gold because I'm actually pretty strong. We need some items for the dragon. But the dragon is actually weaker than Pantheon. Just keep that, always keep that in mind. 
I, I got perfect items. This is ridiculous. I literally got perfect items. I got I got the best in slot um, pantheon. Basically, you can argue uh, Edge of Night instead of Warmogs, but honestly, this is uh, equal. I right, so I'm pretty sure since we're so close to upgrades, we we roll now. Oh, Jace is good. Jace is good than this, honestly. Or better than this. Holy bad luck. Huh? Um. Just keep the rod. It's fine. Oh, I was trying to yoink his orb. Holy bad luck on the Zyra, right? And on the Silas as well, but insane luck on Pantheon and Siphon. So we're kind of, you know, we're kind of chilling. Warrior Crest, Bruiser Crest. Bruiser Crest is actually good. Bruiser is so good, man. Ah, oh, but now... Now I wish I could give him the BT instead of this Warmogs. It's fine, we just give the BT to him then. Yeah, it's fine. So we have a full tank, this guy with double healing. It's okay. Alright, now we just play a random Jax instead of this. Yeah, I'm sure we sell this already. Alright, nice. Actually really good now, huh? Actually really good comp. Alright. I think we're chilling. Olaf is better. Oh yeah, true true. Olaf gives warrior to Pantheon. My bad. My bad, yo. I didn't see the Olaf in the shop. Thank you. Okay, next turn will be even better. Pantheon warrior is actually pretty good. It's gonna be quite some nice damage increase. Gonna make him heal more. Actually, it's not gonna make him heal more. Because this is not an Omni Vamp. But it's still pretty good. Yeah, bro, I, I wish I could get rid of this uh, Warmox. Uh, yeah, Warmox. Put it on somebody else. It's fine. Um, I'm sure we roll here since we're so close to upgrades again. Nice. Big. Okay, I think now we're good to go. Check positioning. Okay, we seem to be fine. Oh, he's playing it as well now. He pivoted into it after he got terrified. But I'm a little bit ahead of him. Because I have the two-star dragon. I'm for sure stronger. He has some good augments as well, though. By the way, this crit is not just for AP, guys. Of course, it's good for AP. But, um, because it allows them to crit. But it's also good for physical, because your units gain 25% critical strike chance. So it's not wasted. So it's pretty nice. I mean, I just need a bow, right? Nice. Alright, so we just need a bow. Mm, what, what can this even turn into, man? Another Ginsu's? I don't need Ionic Spark. I don't need Morello. He has built-in heal reduction. Um, the Jeweled Gauntlet is, I guess, not that bad. Uh, Gunblade. True, we'll just give her a Gunblade for even more healing. I could go double Ginsu's, but uh, Runan's is more important. Runan's is more important. Double Ginsu's is good if I get a Runan's here. But I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm not gonna commit now. Okay, I don't think we roll now. Because Pantheon 2 will be a big upgrade, but... I don't think I'm hitting it right now. So I want to level to 8 for now. And at level 8, we just play Evoker, right? But we don't even need Evoker. We don't even want Evoker. We don't want her to cast. 
you want her to attack and then go for a big cast. You don't want her to cast repeatedly often. Because the casting will make her stop attacking. You want her to just attack. That's why Shoujin is bad on this Syra. If you play the Whispers comp. Because you would rather have qu quality over quantity. You want a big, good cast that kills everything. Rather than uh, one small cast immediately. And then the next small cast would kill. But it takes too long afterwards. You would rather, you know, have the first cast take a little bit longer. But it's going to kill. Then, you know, take even longer to kill. That's the thing. Why not take crit bard and make gauntlet? No, 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 that would be bad. That would, that would have been bad. I don't know what to say. Good night, Amaros, man. Good night. What does Terrify do? It makes it... Um, oh, that's bad. Oh, it's actually good. I dodged the assassins this way. Uh, it makes it so your... The, 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 the units that are shrunken by Whispers, the small units, uh, deal less damage. 15% less damage to your units. So it's really nice. Makes your team very tanky. Gives them damage reduction. Because this guy, if you're playing the, the full Whispers comp, this guy's always gonna whisper everybody because he just dashes through all of them. Alright, we're doing pretty well, huh? Maybe we can win this game. Whoa! Holy, what a... <laughs> Wait, but this is just perfect. Huh? This is so perfect. I'm pretty sure Rapid Fire is better than another Ginsu's. Rapid Fire is better, I think. And it's also going to make her not be able to be dodged. I think Rapid Fire is better. And then we just go QSS on him. So Rapid Fire is 50% bonus attack speed. And this one is after, after, five, after 10 attacks, it's going to be better. But this Rapid Fire is going to ramp up this Ginsu's more. It's going to ramp up the Ginsu's even more, so it makes it better, and, and no one can dodge her attacks, which is really good. I'm pretty sure it's rapid fire, guys. Double Ginsu's is really bad with no initial attack speed. And this gives us that, so this is really insane. And then we have another rod, which is kind of dead, but everything is dead anyway. Okay, I should have leveled here, but I was too busy figuring out the items, so we can just give the rod to him. We can go Morello on him or something. We already have heal reduction through him, but it's just in a small cone, so... Always good to get more. I mean, she's just melting people now. Look at her damage now. She's going crazy, bro. She's going sicko mode. Look how much attack damage she has. <laughs> uh, beautiful, man. Okay, 36 to level, sure, whatever. Alright, so we're looking for... I don't think we're looking for Mystic. I think realistically we're looking for Shapeshifter, but not even that. We're just looking for Twitch, honestly. Yeah, we're looking for Twitch. Yeah, that's the best. More initial attack speed for her. Big. More initial attack speed. Six bruiser. True, I could go six bruiser. Ooh, I might like that one. Six bruiser makes us so tanky. It makes the Pantheon insane. But we have to play one really bad unit then. Whereas now we're playing... We would have to play one... The Twitch is equal to Jax, right? In terms of effectivity. They're both really good. They're both decent, right? Yeah, but the Jace is also giving us damage, which we don't really need because we stack up damage. You know what? It might be Bruiser here. So I'm going to keep them if we find more Bruisers. We would have to play one really bad unit though, that's the thing. Initial attack speed. I mean, it's just a little bit of attack speed. It's 14%. It doesn't really matter. Nah, I'm pretty sure I roll for Bruisers. Oh, but now Mystic, Mystic could be good. Yeah, 
I know I don't have Mystic right now, but I think uh, the, the the Jace doesn't matter. The Jace does, just, just doesn't matter. Whereas this guy, um, the AoE CC is good. But maybe Mystic. Maybe we put in the Seraphine anyway, just so we get Mystic. Evoker and Mystic. And the Seraphine is a good unit. And so is this guy. This land is mine. Like, this guy is just really good, right? Can't really argue. The AoE CC is just extremely strong. Maybe that's the play. <laughs> Wait, we're already top four. <laughs> nice, bro. I didn't expect that. Okay, this this guy is gonna lose here. Okay, very close top four. Every, everyone is close. Oh, Zeke. That has to be a Zeke. Has to be a Zeke. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking Seraphine now for, for Mystic, because look, okay, now this is Zaya, this is magic damage though, and this is also magic damage, so two out of three opponents are magic damage, so it's actually good to go Mystic, man, no cap, it's good to go Mystic. Seraphine. Oh, this is the Zaya guy, though. I think I still go Mystic, though. I think I still go Mystic against him. Because it's Jace, Hecarim. No Shivana. If he had Shivana, it would be it wouldn't be Mystic. I mean now we just fought him, so we definitely stay Mystic for now. Because we won't fight him for a long time. Also, I just naturally counter him, because I have Zyra, uh, Zyra against his Swift Shot. That's just really good, yeah. Okay, so now Mystic is definitely huge value against the other people. <laughs> but we need, um, I mean, I guess we make this guy? We need this Seraphine instead. I don't think we'll ever need him. No Seraphine, huh? Okay, I hope we're okay. This guy seems really strong. He has Essence Death. I should put Siphon next to the Bard as well for the Zeeks. Oh, the Zoe ult, man. The Zoe ults are gonna cock me, aren't they? Nah, but Zyra is ramping up. Zyra is going sicko mode. And the, 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 the Pantheon is so tanky. Yeah, Mystic. Mystic diff for sure here. Nice. He's dead. This land is mine. Okay, now we're just against um, the Som guy. So that's for sure Mystic. Is he going for Seraphine 3? No, he's not. He's trying to go for Som 3 or something. Right, Bloodthirster. Double Bloodthirster on him, sure. Oh, maybe we get a, a Magnetic Remover. That would be insane. Magnetic Remover would be insane. <clears throat> So against these guys, uh, Bruiser is worse than Mystic. Against the last guy. Mystic is too good. Magnetic Remover? No. Remover? No. Sad. Alright, just let me try to find the other thing. The Seraphine. There she is. That's big. Alright, that's pretty much all I can do, no? Okay, I don't know, the positioning is... Uh, I should've positioned instead of... Okay, he didn't... he didn't position well, though. Ah, uh, this guy is really strong, he's level 9, I don't think I can beat him. I'm level 8, I have a budget board and he has like a super good late game board. Oh, but the, the, the Zyra is so much value. He can't position like that. He has to position around the Zyra. Look, see, this is why last. Uh, this is why Hurricane is so good. Nice. All right, big. Let's go. 
We need two star Silas, man. Not sure where that is. Oh, there it is. Not bad. Okay, we shifted away from Nila again. We should be fine. My Zyra is really safe. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's just unlucky, though. That is just st stupid. Yeah, that's just stupid. That, I mean, Nila is just... What can I do? It's a very RNG, fight-heavy hero, you know? You just have a little bit of RNG diff at the end there. Because she can, she can either go on the right target or she can just instantly die. Ooh, am I dead? No, I'm not dead yet. 23, 23 health. Uh, this is not bad because she tanks more. Okay, so basically... Mm, two, star, two star Soraka. I can't clump too much. I think I know what to do. I can't clump too much, but I have to right now. Okay, he didn't. He, he has Nila there again. Okay, Nila is fully away from me, man. We're fine. We're fine. See, this is why we can't clump because of the bard. But this is good positioning. Nila is dead. Nice. Big, 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 big. Oh, he might be dead. I'm surviving with so many. Oh, so close. Seven, okay. Uh, not really close. Bruiser? Probably Redemption. Reduces AoE damage. <sighs> Probably Redemption. On Silas or Seraphine? Silas walks away, Seraphine stays. Probably Seraphine. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hila walks away. Oh, the Bard ult. No, the Bard ult is always onto my Zyra. Nila still alive. Nila is dead. The Bard ult is huge. The Bard ult is huge. This Soul ult is huge. Oh my god, so close, bro. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Nila is very... Like, sometimes she's gonna dash onto your carry, sometimes she isn't. Um, it just depends, man. It's, it's very... It's a little bit RNG at the end. But, hey, we'll take it, man. I think I got lucky in the last fight there, to be honest. But we'll take it, man. I didn't expect to win with this Zyra setup, because usually you don't really... Uh, it doesn't really end up winning. Uh, it's more of a budget variant. If you if you are not able to go for an expensive comp like Zaya or Aoshin, you can just go for this and hope to get top 4. But I guess if you have Celestial Blessing 3, it is absolutely insane. But it doesn't matter because it's getting nerfed in a couple of hours. By the time you're watching this video, it's already nerfed. Um, Zyra is going to get nerfed quite a bit on her attack speed. But Siphon is getting buffed and Pantheon isn't really getting nerfed. So I guess it's still going to be very decent. Subscribe ring notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.